Okay. Um, we are going to look at now uh, how to use the angle of the sun, right, to figure out your location, your latitude. All right. We're going to talk about longitude here in a second. Okay. Uh, after we get done with these examples, but this is to find latitude. Okay. Um, so this is how people, again, on the ocean, traders on ships, before there were maps, figured out what latitude they were at, okay? And to do this, you if you knew the angle of the sun, right, at noon, okay, at, at solar noon, when the sun is directly above you, you can figure out what latitude you're at, okay? Uh, and this time of year, it's particularly appropriate for this. Tomorrow is September 21st, okay? So let's figure out um, what our latitude is here in Casper, Wyoming, based on the angle of the sun, okay? And so let's say we're trying to figure this out September 21st, okay? So September 21st, we all know uh, that that is the fall equinox. We have equal day and equal night, if you paid attention to my last video showing the Earth-Sun relationship, okay? So where, where are the sun's rays hitting the Earth uh, vertically? From the last video we watched, we know that that is at the equator, okay? So we can do some simple geometry here and figure out our location, right? <clears throat> And the way we do that is we just, we build a triangle, okay? Okay. And actually what we're finding here is we're finding the angle of the sun, not our location. Um, we will find our location based on the angle of the sun here in a second, but what, what these problems in the exercise, Third Rock from the Sun are dealing with is finding out the angle of the sun. And it's better to find the angle of the sun first, and then we can kind of work backwards to find our location, okay? Uh, so again, we're gonna use simple geometry to find the angle of the sun. Uh, we know the on September 21st, the sun's rays are hitting the earth vertically at the equator, okay? We are, at, I'm in Casper, Wyoming right now. I know that my location, so I'll just kind of draw myself here. My location is at, about 43 degrees north latitude, okay? 43 degrees. So now we can do our simple geometry. We can draw our right triangle from the middle of the earth on the equator to where we're at at 43 degrees, okay? All right, and then we use the horizon. Now the horizon is if you're standing outside and you're just looking across the earth, okay? That's the horizon line. So if we draw our horizon line, there we have our triangle, okay? Our right triangle, okay? So what is the angle of the sun? We're trying to find this angle right here. We're trying to find what the angle of the sun is in Casper, Wyoming on September 21st, okay? Well, we know already know a few things about a right triangle, okay? If we, we know this is 90 degrees, okay? We know this angle is 43 degrees because that's where we are. The middle of the earth, the equator up to where we're at is 43 degrees, right? We're trying to find this angle. If, because opposite adjacent angles, are equal, if we know this angle, we can find that one, okay? Simple, right? Well, we know a right triangle equals 180 degrees, okay? We have two angles already, so 90 plus 43, that is 133, right? So these two angles add up to 133. Okay, trying to wait for the camera to get up there, right? These two angles of the triangle, 133. To find this missing angle here, we just subtract 133 from 180. 
Uh, that is seven, four, 47. This angle is 47, therefore this angle is 47, okay? So if you're in Casper, Wyoming, right? On September 21st and you go out and measure the angle of the sun at noon off the horizon, you're gonna measure it at 47 degrees, okay? It's gonna be 47 degrees off the horizon, all right? That's how high the sun is gonna get on September 21st in Casper, Wyoming, okay? All right, I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna do this exact same exercise, but we're gonna do it for the summer solstice, which is June 21st. So let me pause it and get my uh, marker board set up. <clears throat> okay. Um, waving my arms here, trying to get the camera to come back. There we go. Um, all right, now we're gonna find the angle of the sun for the location of Casper, Wyoming, where I'm at, on June 21st, which is the summer solstice, okay? June 21st, summer solstice. Um, so a couple things, uh, the sun-earth relationship, right? The, the earth is now tilted more towards the sun, right? June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere, that's when we have most of our um, uh, daylight, right? So in the last part of, yeah, the last part of the video, we just determined that the angle of the sun um, on September 21st in Casper, Wyoming at noon is 47 degrees above the horizon. Since we have more daylight, right, on June 21st, do you think that angle is gonna increase or decrease? Okay, so think about that. More sunlight, you would have to assume or you might assume that we're, that angle of the sun is going to increase, right? Because we have more daylight, okay? But let's work through the problem and see. <clears throat> so again, the earth is tilted more towards the sun. Those vertical rays are now hitting the front side of the Tropic of Cancer, right? We are still at 43 degrees north latitude, mm -hmm. right? 43 degrees in Casper, we're still there, but now we're tilted more towards the sun because we have more sunlight, okay? So let's build, let's build our, our triangle. So we're gonna start at the middle of the earth here at the equator. We're gonna go to where we're at, right? We're gonna draw our horizon line, okay? And voila, we have our triangle that we're gonna work with, okay? Again, we wanna find the sun's rays at noon. We wanna find, right, this angle right here, okay? Again, because opposite adjacent angles are equal, if we find this angle, we'll know what that angle is. We already know this is 90, right? Now, do we know this angle? No, we don't, but we do know this angle from the equator to where we're at is 43, right? So if this whole thing is 43, what is this little part, okay? Okay, we know this whole angle is 43. We do know this angle, right? Where is the Tropic of Cancer located? 23 and a half degrees north. So we know this part is 23 and a half, right? So if this whole thing is 43, this part is 23 and a half, we just subtract the two, okay? 
Uh, let me do my math here. Nineteen and a half. So we're starting to find the parts of our triangle, right? This is ninety. This is nineteen and a half. That means we can now find out this angle, right? A right triangle adds up to one hundred eighty. Ninety. Plus 19 and a half is 109.5. Subtract that from 180. And looks like 70.5, right? So this angle is 70.5. That means this angle is 70.5. So on June 21st in Casper, Wyoming, at noon, the sun's angle above the horizon is 70 and a half degrees, which makes sense, right? On September 21st, okay, the angle of the sun at Casper at noon was 47. Since we have more daylight on June 21st than September 21st, you would expect the angle of the sun to be higher than 47. And it is. So again, if you can remember to do this, if you're in Casper, Wyoming, right? If you go outside at noon and look down the horizon and you could use like a sextant or some kind of device that measures the sun to the horizon, that angle is gonna be 70.5 degrees, okay? So notice this triangle here. You always make the triangle with wherever the, the sun's rays are hitting the earth vertically. This right triangle on June 21st was made using the middle of the earth at the equator to the Tropic of Cancer at 23 and a half degrees and then up the horizon to where we are at Casper at 43 degrees, okay? So now, what do you suppose the angle of the sun is at the winter solstice in Casper, Wyoming, okay? The winter solstice. How do you think you're gonna make your triangle? Where are the sun's rays hitting the earth vertically on December 21st, the winter solstice? They're going to be hitting the Tropic of Capricorn. So now your triangle is going to be made with um, the Tropic of Capricorn and where you're at at 43. And now think about it. Do you think the sun's rays are going to be less? Do you think that the, the degrees, the angle of the sun on uh, December 21st is going to be less or more? than the fall equinox. Well, we have less daylight, right? It's probably gonna be less. Now, based on what we just did here, I'm willing to bet you can figure out the angle of the sun at Casper um, <clears throat> uh, the angle of the sun at Casper on December 21st, okay? All right, hopefully this helps. Thank you.